The United States has one of the highest infant mortality rates in the developed world. Of every 1,000 babies born, six die in their first year of life. Rates of low birth weight, preterm birth, and maternal mortality are also unacceptably high. Some communities are hit especially hard, with rates more than double the national average. Major disparities persist in pregnancy outcomes by race and socioeconomic status. In 1991, Healthy Start began as a demonstration program dedicated to reducing disparities in maternal and infant health. Healthy Start is a lifeline for vulnerable women, infants, and families. Healthy Start is a beacon of hope. It's compassion. It's caring. It's understanding. It's reaching out to people no one else often reaches out to. It's a voice for many people. Healthy Start is a major resource for women of, of childbearing age, for women uh, who are currently pregnant, and uh, those who may have had uh, young children and for fathers. It's about helping moms at a very um, delicate time, sensitive time, um, bring their children into the world safely. And it's very much about keeping an eye on those children and making sure that they have a safe life and that they make it through that first birthday and many more birthdays. Healthy Start helps women and families help themselves. Healthy Start is a wonderful support system, educational program that every mother could benefit from. We allow her to make the choices she thinks are the best for herself, not necessarily what we want, but what she wants for herself. And so um, we do that by wrapping as many services as we can um, to help her, but she's the one um, behind the wheel. Healthy Start is an opportunity for families to really think about what it is they want for their children and to plan and to help for their children to be successful. I kind of see Healthy Start as a bridge and when we think of a bridge, a bridge is often used to get people from one place to the other. So our Martha's Healthy Start program has been a bridge to help our clients get from one place to the other to become self-sufficient. Healthy Start is deeply rooted in the community. Healthy Start is a program that allows each project to really develop its initiatives based on how rural their counties are, how urban their counties are, what they find in those communities. We're able to tailor our services around the needs of our community. Healthy Start is a comprehensive, holistic program that works to serve not only families, but communities, and it works to change systems. The Healthy Start Project in Detroit um, has the um, impact of creating uh, change and uh, providing the leadership for that change. Healthy Start is and has always been a part of the community because we are community-based, we are grassroots. That means that the community has grown Healthy Start. Healthy Start is life-changing. I have to give the credit to the families that we work with. We provide them with opportunities, with skills, with tools, but they are the ones making the necessary changes. It's an understanding that we care, we want you to be better, we want to give you that helping hand, we want you to do the things that maybe you couldn't do for yourself, but we'll help you get to where you need to be. Families in general really want what is best for, for their children. Uh, I think that given the opportunity that they will rise above whatever the conditions are, I think if we provide that support. A healthy Start should be an opportunity for every family. To sum up, Healthy Start is... Healthy Start is a noble effort to attack a devastating problem. Healthy Start is about listening, caring, and serving the community with compassion in order to make a difference in the health of women, children, fathers, and families. Healthy Start is more than a program. Healthy Start is the people, the people that we serve. It's the community. Healthy Start began in 1991 as a demonstration program with 15 sites. 25 years later, Healthy Start has served thousands of women, infants, and families living in urban, rural, and border communities across the United States. Communities served by Healthy Start are among the nation's most vulnerable, with infant mortality rates at least 1.5 times the national average. Today, there are 100 Healthy Start projects located in 37 states and the District of Columbia.